very much, Malati. Yang berusaha Dr. Khalid Abdul Hamid, Director, Services Industry Division, Economic Planning Unit. Distinguished panelists, GBS Iskandar clients, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to everyone. I'm very delighted that we are able to gather here today for the Ignite 2021 Global Business Services Series. And I thank everyone for your participation and contribution over the next two days. This is a two-day conference that provides an avenue for subject matter experts and industry advocates representing the best minds of the region's GBS industry. And this will be an excellent opportunity for the GBS community to connect, collaborate, and to learn from top industry experts. Our first Ignite industry track kick-started in July 2021 with the drone and robotics track followed by the blockchain in September 2021. The Ignite Industry Series garnered over 1,600 global participants with 70 expert speakers sharing their thoughts and insights. Ignite GBS will take place over the next two days and we'll see a gathering of industry experts from around the region discussing various exciting topics to unearth the opportunities of the GBS industry, particularly right here in Iskandar Putri. Ladies and gentlemen, GBS Iskanda is a specialized program developed to facilitate companies to meet their GBS location requirements, covering key areas such as talent, infrastructure, livability, and incentives. Over the next two days, uh, we will also celebrate a significant milestone for us as we celebrate the fifth anniversary of GBS Iskanda, which was launched in April 2016 by Young Muhammad Dato Sri Mustafa Muhammad the then Minister of International Trade and Industry. Since its launch five years ago, we are happy to announce that the GBS program has secured 27 companies with a secured investment value of 2.6 billion ringgit, of which 800 million ringgit has been realized to date. In terms of job creation, GBS Iskandar has managed to create a total of 6,300 jobs, of which about 1,900 jobs have been realized with an average salary of 4,890 ringgit. These companies are mainly from four segments, namely emerging technology, information technology, outsourcing, knowledge process outsourcing, and business process outsourcing, whereby 94% of the talent pool comprises of Malaysians, and a total of 79% of them are actually local Joburians. This proves that Iskandar Putri has the talent required especially to meet the demands of GBS companies that wish to set up operations in Medina. I'm happy to say that our client companies are also flourishing, and Aegis and Vistra are among two of our GBS companies in Nadini, which have realized more than 80% of their total headcount despite the challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic. While most companies in the market have reduced their headcount or are temporarily um, stopping their, 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 their progress, these two companies are committed to job creation. When GBS Iskandar was launched in 2016, I was the CEO of Madini, and I was very excited to welcome this new initiative as it would bring many new opportunities for Banda Madini, especially in terms of job creation, employment opportunities, as well as commercial activities, as we have always been working very hard to attract more investors and more companies to relocate to our offices here in Madini. We all know also how the pandemic has severely impaired the economy and has forced a lot of border closures and has impacted mobility and connectivity. Even more than that, the pandemic also drives disruptive innovations which affect the way businesses are run today. Digital transformation is one of the many disruptions caused by the pandemic and we are now pushed hard to adapt to the new reality. So how do we deal with these disruptions? The theme of this conference, Breaking the Barriers, is apt as we navigate these disruptions. For global business services, shared services, and outsourcing organizations, one thing is for sure. Conventional wisdom and the long-held orthodoxies have been challenged during this pandemic and requires new strategies, new changes, and new ways of doing business. The new GBS and shared services normal will likely include operational practices previously thought impossible as the world eases restrictions. And we anticipate that many of them will stick than to expand. In the next two days, we are excited to be part of the discussions around the new wisdom and future opportunities where work performance for many processes is not location dependent. 
In addition, addressing risks require more than a business continuity plan. Collectively, we can unearth how companies can develop continuous resiliency, full automation, and move to agile technologies with the right triggers and support. Policies, processes, and technologies can provide adequate security for remote working. Ladies and gentlemen, IEB's vision of building an inclusive and sustainable future metropolis has led to a program that looks into a new economy, new experience, and new talent. And this umbrella program has been branded as Iskandar Next. Iskandar Next is our aspiration for Iskandar Putri as the destination of choice. And it is imperative that GBS Iskandar strengthens its position here. GBS Iskandar will be developing an ecosystem to adapt to the new wisdom and future opportunities to continue attracting GBS companies into Medini, as we have laid all the necessary foundations. Through our strong support network with academia and talent building initiatives, including Edicity, JDET, and Prantis Iskandar, we have the ready talent pool that is proficient and highly skilled. IB, through our subsidiary IB Ventures, is also ready to provide working space flexibility to meet the current demands of working from home and modular office spaces. We can clearly see that the hybrid working model is the way to go for the future. We will soon launch Common Ground at Iskandar Space at Medini, a partnership with Malaysia's largest co-working community for a co-working space that accommodates up to 290 seats. Common Ground at Iskandar Space is actually an expansion of our current co-working space, Iskandar Space, which we launched in 2017. IB also aligns itself closely with the federal and state governments, both of whom are our shareholders. Through the recent outlining of the 12th Malaysia Plan by Yang Abdul Prime Minister, and the Budget 2022 announcement by the Minister of Finance, we will see more investments in digital technology and connectivity, as well as new policies and regulations that will facilitate businesses to set up and to thrive in this kind of country. Ladies and gentlemen, in summary, I hope the next two days will encourage collaboration and spark conversations amongst all of you for global business services, shared services, and outsourcing companies to overcome the current challenges and to move forward together as we enter the post-pandemic era. Our team is ready to support you as you consider Medini in your growth plans. Thank you once again for all your participation, and I wish all of you a very productive and successful Ignite conference. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dato. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, what are the efforts and achievements of GBF Iskandar since 2016? Let's have a look. Assalamu alaikum and a very good day. My name is Hazmi Yusuf and I am the Managing Director of Frost and Sullivan Malaysia. We are among the pioneers in establishing our operations in Iskandar way back in 2013. It has been a wonderful and exciting journey for all of us. We have also established a product or portfolio 
that serves our clients globally from Iskandar. We call this a made in Iskandar portfolio, which we are very proud of, and it's a global product for us. I would like to congratulate and wish um, GBS Iskandar a happy fifth anniversary. Hi, I'm Ria from Okakichi. We make uh, mobile games in Medini 9. And I just want to thank you for GBS Iskandar for helping us settle and introduce us to the community of uh, Johor. And God, we couldn't have been where we are without you guys' help. Well, congratulations on your fifth anniversary and hopefully um, maybe another five or 10 years beyond. Hi, this is Gaurav Agarwal. I'm the head of operations for Startech Johor Bahru. Uh, StarTech is a global provider of tech-enabled business process management solutions. We are based out of Madini 7. We have been here since 2017. We employ around 1,000 employees uh, in this area. Uh, we've been uh, one of the deciding factors for us to, to come and, and open an office in this region is because of the GBS Iskandar program. The GBS team has been extremely helpful and supportive of us and they have really uh, helped us to develop the community here. So wishing you, wishing the team all the very best uh, on their fifth anniversary. Uh, thank you so much for all the support and looking forward to celebrate many more anniversaries uh, in, in coming years together. Hello GBS! Yeah.